What up, what up, what is going on everybody, it's your boy Jess, welcome back to another Madden 15 online ranked match today, we have the Browns going up against the Hunters, now Browns, uh, I've been seeing a lot of Brown users, you know, here and there, and it's all I gotta do with money means help, you know, when you play with the Browns, you definitely want to be able to utilize Johnny Football, and hopefully be able to have success with him, and of course that's what we're going to try to do today, which I feel like is an evenly matched up team. You know, Brown's going up against the Cardinals. Both of them have, you know, their strengths and weaknesses. Both of them have a top tier receiver. You know, uh, even I do give the edge uh, running back wise to the Browns uh, just due to the fact it's a FMO! Just due to the fact that Ben Tate uh, definitely has some speed. So uh, right there, second play of the game, we end up forcing a turnover, which is always a good thing. Be able to go on ahead and give us great field position. Um, and again, this is an earlier in the Oakland scheme, you see me running like some different plays like, uh, pis what was that, uh, Pistol Full House? That may be the first time that's, you see me caught on tape using that. We end up settling for a field goal, fourth down swag, man, learn it, live it, love it. We end up taking what I feel like is a free three points. You know, we already started in that territory, didn't have to work for it. You know, our defense went ahead and provided us an early stop, which goes on ahead and uh, gives us three points. So, uh, right there, I don't know what that was, just one-handed, I, I, I don't know what that was, so... Uh, but this team, man, uh, when you break it down, both of them have two amazing cornerbacks in Hayden and Peterson, two amazing wide receivers in Gordon and Fitzgerald. Uh, you know, so definitely, uh, you know, solid, solid players across the board for both teams. Right here, fourth down, let's see if we can go on ahead and make ourselves a good stop. And unfortunately, uh, we just end up giving up a huge third down conversion right there, which allows them to continue to drive. And there it is, very frustrating. It looked like we had our meat hooks all over it, and the receiver just comes swooping in out of nowhere. So another first down conversion right here is definitely doing a good job. Look at that. Uh, just on the run, like, well, not necessarily on the run, but off his back foot, just throws a dot, do through a fadeaway right on the money. So uh, here we go, man, our first real offensive possession, I'd like to say, since uh, that um, first, technically the first one we had was just off of a, a turnover so we don't we don't like to count that so uh here we go with uh ben tate like i said definitely good speed good shifting is good legitimately i definitely want to try and take advantage of him and josh gordon every time i drop back he is definitely you know my uh go-to target you know I'm, I'm trying to give him the ball as much as possible right there i don't know what the hell i'm doing i threw it straight to the cardinal thankfully it wasn't picked off Whoop! look at gordon who has some really good elusiveness you know whenever he gets the ball man uh a double juke from him, and you're, like, already breaking at least one guy if you go on that in uh, time of right. Definitely good elusiveness for a receiver. And uh, somebody, like I said, when you put the ball in his hands, he's going to make plays for you. So, uh, right there, Burleson, nice catch. Uh, money Manziel puts it on the money. Four for five so far of this game. Go to a quick little screen play, and one of the few times it actually works for me, and we end up getting a touchdown. Something about the screens this year, um, with that A button, and uh, X button cheese, you know, whenever somebody's in that cone range, you just hit the X button and they will, like, warp straight towards you. Uh, screens are very tough because all you need is just somebody in the vicinity and they're just diving right through the blockers to get you down. So, I typically don't work out for me too well. So, uh, right there, fumble, but we were out of bounds when we were recovered. Uh, we actually forced a few fumbles this game that we were unable to recover, and, and that's frustrating. Uh, right there. Tries to go for an under center screen. Those are very, very, very... T Look at him shrugging off the sack, but thankfully we still get the sack. Those are very tough to do because, you know, typically you want to be in shotgun, at, at least in, in my opinion, when you're trying to do a uh, screen because it gives you a little bit more time since you're five yards away, you know, from the center. Where under, you know, when you're under center, you know, once some guards start pulling away, you know, uh, you, it's just not too much time. So uh, very, very... Like, you have to get rid of the ball immediately. Uh, right here, man, we go to the play action. We end up finding Cameron. I was editing this play, and I'm like, damn, I'm over here doing play actions and plays I've never really done before. I, I might have to, you know, go back up into the, the, the playbook and try these things out. They were kind of working for me a little bit. So I try to run right up there with Tate, and uh, we get a good gain right here. We're really close to a first down. And as I said, the elusiveness of Josh Gordon, man, any move he's having a cornerback or, like, they're, they're stumbling. You know, he has really good shiftiness. And you got to take advantage of that. You know, you have to understand and utilize the strengths of your playmaker. So, right here, we're just trying to get in field goal range. We drop back another pass to Gordon. And, again, double juke got people just falling over. And this is back when I was struggling kicking field goals. I mean, I still do struggle kicking field goals. But right there, we end up missing. And that hurt. <laughs> that right there prevented us the opportunity to go up 
six points and a field goal would have made it a two possession game so uh very very frustrating missing that field goal uh here we go man still trying to run the ball have success you know uh with the speed ben tate has man all i all i really need is a scene but i just can't quite get it going right there i believe we called bench i want to say and just threw it way too soon and we end up throwing an interception you know bad bad read by me and this right puts him in great position going ahead and take the lead for the first time of the game which of course i'm not hoping for uh if he does score you know we want it to be a field goal but right there, he just picks up the first down puts him on a one yard line where he eventually ends up scoring right there and now we're down 14 to 10 and uh we got to go on ahead and score we got to take that lead back man i do not want to play from behind you know, so this right here is a very, very, very important decision. We got to stay away from the dumb reads, man, and make sure, you know, we put the ball where it needs to be. So right here, quick little angle route to Burleson. And he shrugs the tackle off, and we pick up the first down, which is used because I don't like being in third and short situations, man. I don't like being put in those pressurized moments. So as usual, man, we're still dinking and dunking our way down the field, man, just doing really quick short routes, you know, safe routes that go on ahead and uh you know throw underneath those zones which so many people love to do so much so still struggling to run the ball really you know when you have somebody of uh tate's caliber i'm talking about you know when it, speaking of madden wise when you have somebody who's you know pretty decent speed you know he's not the, he's no jamal charles or anything like that but he's decent speed when you got somebody like that man you want to try and you know see if you can get them loose man uh you know typically with somebody like that you'd love to at least get one or two huge runs a game but unfortunately, man, we just cannot get him going as of now. So fourth quarter is here. We are still down uh, right there. He did a run commit, but somehow still swats that down. Uh, third and inches. We go for it. Thankfully, we end up getting it. Oh, of course, we're going to go for it. But we pick up the QB sneak right there. And uh, this is where things get a little interesting right here. So I'm killing clock. Just trying to wait as much time as possible. We try to run. That gets shut down. So third down right here. Let's see if we can pick up the first down. We're looking. Go to the outside. Breaks the tackle. We go out of bounds. And right here is like, you know what? With four minutes remaining. We're going to go on ahead. We're going to take a chance. We're going to go for it. And thankfully, we end up scoring. Now, the reason why we did not kick the field goal is because we were really struggling defensively. And um, it just felt like uh, it gave us the best opportunity to go on ahead and win. Now, you know we practiced fourth down sweat. You go back to our first possession where we was in the same situation. It was like fourth and five. But, you know, we kicked the field goal. Uh, right here, we decided, like I said, decided to go for it. Give it a Like right there. That happens way too often. You know, uh, for progress. And then we forced the fumble. In, and unfortunately, it's. It's a dead ball. Uh, like I said, man, we just went for it there because it felt like it gave us the best opportunity to go on ahead and win. And we get a huge sack right there, forcing a fourth and forever. And right here, next play, you know we're going to send a blitz. You know, he needs his receivers to get downfield 30 yards. So you send a blitz hoping that uh, you can just go ahead and disrupt his his uh, opportunity to wait for his receivers to get that far and deep down the field. And, uh, you know, that right there is your best option. Don't come out in like a quarter's. You know, three men deep. You never know what could happen. You send a blitz. You don't even give the receivers that long to be able to run that far. Uh, right here, he still has an opportunity. You know, uh, one timeout, 20 seconds remaining. A touchdown does win him this game. And uh, anything can happen. But thankfully, you know, uh, for us, he ends up dropping back. He throws into coverage, and we end up picking it off, and we end up uh, stealing the, the victory right there. So that's the end of the video, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed Go on ahead and hit that like button if you guys made it this far in the video, man. It really means a lot. Just let me know you appreciate the time and effort that went into this gameplay. And Money Me and Zell comes through. You know, even though we would have liked to have more success running the ball. But you can't complain with the victory, right? A W is a W. And you got to go on ahead and be uh, happy with the success of being able to beat your opponent. So, uh, like I said, man, that's it. It's your boy, Jess. And we are out. Peace.